Hey, orange one here. So, <laughs> um, I got some lock picks made and tried to open up some of these doors to try and find my way out. And well, I found my way out. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do that a little bit off camera because it was taking forever to lock pick. Like it seriously was taking way too long. So we've broken out of jail. So yeah. Congrats. I, it really hasn't been too much time since you guys were last with us. I think I might have lured a few more zombies into nail traps. And there is a corpse there. I think that we are going to actually try and do a quick butchery on that. Get some, some meat. And then we can cook with that. Maybe not right now. Maybe not right now. Let's just see what else we've got around us. Uh, there is a wreck. Ooh, okay. A uh, city car. Oh, it's got uh, busted up wheels. It's a shame. Okay, does this one... No, this one's wheels are messed up too. Okay. This one... Its wheels are... Okay. Okay, so that one might actually work. That one... Also might work. So we've got two cars up there that might be workable cars for us awesome oh my gosh if we can have a working car we'll be great if we don't we're also fine because we have forest around us we can live off of the forest pretty easily get plenty of food and water not to mention we got a tree farm and this actual proper farm up here yeah we really a grape farm okay an orchard hmm that i think it, I would recommend that we go check that out. Can we? Making a long beep. It fails to start. Um, okay. Let's have a look, see at what's going on with this thing. It's got gas, it's got batteries. It's just like it's engine or something. Is it the alternator or the, it's the engine that's faulty. But I want to mend that. What would that take? Um, fine screw driving. We need a mechanical pump to replace the faulty water pump. Okay, so we could do that. And fine screw driving. Well, I think we, I thought we had a screwdriver. It's just got screw driving. It doesn't got fine. Okay, well, we're going to have to figure out what would, would work with that, I guess, if this other one doesn't work. Or maybe we could switch out the engines if this one has an engine that works. And this engine works, it's just out of battery. So we could either get this engine in there or the battery over here. Or hook up the batteries. Yeah, it fails to start because it's a... Uh, yeah. Maybe we could make a jumper cable. If I could make a jumper cable, or find a jumper cable, I could hook the two cars up. What about um, if I wanted to install something or remove... Um, let's see if I wanted to remove... I wanted to remove this car battery. Could I do that? I can. Okay. Um, can I install it back in? I can. Oh, cool. Okay, well, let's install that here then it's um move that one install the other one that we have here hold on the one that I'm carrying right okay install the one that's on my person yeah okay this one should start now right by yeah okay we got a working car awesome now we need to get uh, gas in it oh jeez this is this is amazing I have a working car it even has an animal compartment in it so I can get a friend in here oh is this a police car what is this it's just a regular car that has an animal compartment in it um we if I um can I control the vehicle? And I want to remember this vehicle's positions. 
I've got a couple electronics. I've got headlights. I've got stereo. Oh, we could listen to music from here. Oh, cool. Oh, very cool. I am also going to grab that battery and dump that in here. Man, we have a working car. How, how lucky is that? I, oftentimes, these places have, I think, one vehicle, vehicle that will work. Or if you have some basic skill, you can kind of figure some stuff out from the other parts. There is another battery here. Gas. There's a good amount of gasoline in there. Can I have a look at this as well? This also has some gas. Not very much, though. We're not going to be able to do, like, repair work, repair work, but we'll be able to get this thing in a decent, decent shape, I've got a feeling. Also, there might be some of the things in here that we want. I mean, you know, we should just honestly take seatbelts off, but we need mechanics. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're going to have to level up our mechanics and figure that out. Awesome. 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 Let's see. We're going to have to get some sort of jug or something. There's also... This place isn't completely cleared out. I should have mentioned that. Yeah, there's still enemies around. I mean, I've cleared it out mostly, but I think they're kind of like some in some cells and stuff. And then they like kind of spawn out of those cells over time, you know? So, um, is there a jug around here? No? I bet there is up here, though. No jug? Okay, whatever. Okay, in here? No jugs? Alright. There is some food, though. Guess I missed that. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> There's gotta be some sort of... Oh, you know what we could do? Is that we could... Probably deconstruct, um... Something down here. Because our lab... We are gonna... If we're gonna take the car and go from here, which I'm also not sure... How much I wanna, like move from here because we also have some other stuff that we could clear out from this lab plenty actually um is there a jug in here yeah there's a jug it's an empty one cool let's get that that'll be more than enough for what we're trying to do here also gotta take my some of my tools I think that that would be um, a good idea because I think we're gonna if we've got a working car that's gonna be a good thing for us to start working with to kind of level up you know um, I would like to carry that wrench uh, go ahead and, and dump some stuff here what could we dump Oh, actually, hold on. What am I doing? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go the other way. Um, yeah, there's a fair amount of stuff I do want to take with us, but we don't need it all. Yeah, like there's like all that. Should I be taking that? No, let's, let's dump the wire. Let's move all 13 of that. Um, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take my books as well, maybe. And then what was I trying to also grab the jug, right? Yep, cool. Alright, so we could should be able to um Oh did I I also will need a hose. I, I think that we have hoses in here somewhere. No? That's weird. I know that, that we've disassembled those fridges, and I think those have hoses. I'm, I'm almost positive. But we should be able to get a good night's sleep up on the surface now that we've got a car and, like, essentially the woods. You know, that should work for this character. But what we want, we want is ideally get it so that they're safe in that 
um, environment, which I'm not sure if they are really yet. There's also something in there, which I'm not sure <clears throat> what type of zombie that is. If I really want to engage it or not. Okay, so we're back out. Oh, did I not get the hose? Or do I already have a hose? I'm just checking. No, I do not. Okay, let's go back. Sorry. <laughs> we'll we'll make sure that we're prepared. Hopefully, I don't need to leave some stuff now. Oh no, they're going on the door. Hey, I'm over here. Maybe they're gonna bake down that door, and I'm gonna have to fight them. That's a distinct possibility, but we can handle whatever is there. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so is this it? Yeah, rubber hose. Sure, that should be everything that we need for now. You know, we can also, like, honestly, kind of level up a lot, and we'd be able to do a whole... Oh, there's, there's our zombie cop friend. They broke out for us. Okay, so we're gonna have to kill that. It's, um... I don't think we want to use the gun. No, let's not use the gun. We'll we'll use I think if I think a pipe is better. Is there a pipe around here? Let's wheel the pipe. Yep, let's uh let's drop that wrench. We're probably gonna have to come back for that wrench specifically, I got a feeling. Um I mean, I would like it to be slowed down, but if it's not going to be slowed down, it's also okay. But I think we can lure it to somewhere, like some furniture or something. Or like this fence. Yeah, or not the fence, no. Can I break the fence? Okay. Come up here. If I look here... Oh, actually, you're slower on the table. Come here at me from the table. <laughs> Check that. Um, got pretty solid attack there. Another one. Oh man, two of those hove attacks. You're gonna be dead in no time. Yeah. Okay, we actually can melee. Ooh, first aid kit. You know what that is? That means we got disinfectant, which means that I'm gonna start being able to do more melee a lot more comfortably. Like, honestly, we have antiseptic. That right there is amazing. And also, this is not half bad. Learning, like, the first level of first aid. I think it's... Uh, it'll take us a little time. Yeah, hold on. Hold up. Get this stuff back on. And then, what else was it? I want... Um, not that. I'll take that, that, and that. I don't really know about the saline solution. That's not really what I'm interested in. Though now, it sounds like we may have to fight something in the hallway here. Um, whatever it is, it didn't come out that time. But we're okay. Alright. I'm I'm down to just kinda hang out here then. For a little bit. Um So can I siphon um into container, gallon jug. And then siphon with S into container. Yep. Cool. So that car is empty of gas. Siphon. It's a container. Yep. There's some left over. Okay, now we're going to have left over. Cool. So what we also want to do is just kind of take stuff and put it in here. That I'm not going to be carrying around necessarily. Like books. Um, 
Yeah, like food. Yeah, I don't think we need like a lot of the stuff that we've been carrying around. You know, we've been carrying it on us because we didn't have a vehicle or a mobile way of carrying things. Now we do. So yeah, we don't need to be carrying all this junk. And we're gonna be a lot more mobile. Maybe we'll even be able to do um, some basic um, sewing and stuff and, and maintain some gear. It would be nice. Got two-way radio so we can communicate with people as well. A lot of good, lot of good stuff. Very happy times. All right. Um, was I was gonna was I gonna do anything out here? Maybe just sleep. Maybe we could just try and sleep in this. We could just close things up. Maybe not sleep in our our car because then it might get smashed up. So if we're here, we can kind of warm up here. I'm going to actually not be in our car, go into this car. And let's just read a little bit and see how that goes. We could put make some blindfolds, I think. But I don't think we need to. Yeah, it's going to be night soon. This actually has a battery. So I think we could use that to read by. I think this might as well. This also could be a better base for us, base vehicle, because it's a hippie van. It just doesn't have wheels, and we're going to need a way to like lift it to get wheels on it. So yeah, uh, unfortunately it won't work. Oh, but there, um, ooh, some sun sunglasses, uh, put those uh, bad boys on. <laughs> what is this here? It's next to us. The sliding door, cool. And I mean, we could take like maybe. Um, is there like lights or anything? No. Okay, the battery is dead. It looks like in that thing. I'm a little bit worried about whatever is out there seeing us turn the lights on in this car. I'm not too worried about what's out there, honestly. Um, can we... No, we actually can't turn on any of the electronics either. In that. Oh, because we took out... Right. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, before we go to bed, I just wanted to see if we could... No. Guess not. Oh yeah, this isn't got any battery power either. We could turn on our flashlight and read by that. Or we could just try and go to sleep here. Let's, let's see if that works. If the game will let me. If it'll be peaceful enough. Yeah. And we're chilly. But I think we'll heal up. Oh no. Actually, we're not healing up. No, no, no. This is bad. This is a bad place for us to sleep. Okay. Well, I'm going to load up that save because that's ridiculous. If I was actually going to have my legs break from cold, I would wake up, you know. So, yeah. Sorry, give me a second. Okay, so let's see. Where were we? We were going. Yeah. Going to go back indoors where we're not going to freeze to death. Probably. Okay. Whatever's in there, I think was maybe only that one thing. No, there's there's something in there still. Okay. So we do need to be careful still. Um, we are still hearing something going wump over there too. I'm curious if we were to go upstairs, would we be disturbed by them? Could we even hear these guys? If I try to sleep, like, nah, we're chilly and it's falling there, so we don't want to be there. And we're chilly here, but we're not falling in terms of temperature. So we could kind of go in here, and this isn't so bad. I think we want to maybe go back in here. This Is this going to be dangerous for us if we try and sleep here. I think that this counts as indoors, so we could try and sleep here. 
Um, there's a blood splatter. There's a blanket there. I'm gonna try and sleep on the blanket and then see if it try if it kills me sleeping here, or if it lets me, or if it's too loud or anything. No, we can sleep here. Okay, cool. Nice. We'll work with that. Now what we need to do is figure out how to get cooking and get like a battery kind of set up. And get some water and like clean water and whatnot. I think we could just make a fire like with some wood just somewhere where it's not going to light things on fire. It also burn down like the little like guard tower thing. And get some rocks from that. That would not be the worst idea because then we can use those pebbles for crafting. I might do that. I might just start a fire. Hopefully we don't burn down the whole prison. I don't think it's going to spread through the grass area, though. I think that would probably be pretty safe. And hey, look, we're pretty pretty healed up there. Our head and our torso, which are the important ones, at least. we got some more first aid going early in the morning. Okay. Nice. Got the achievement. Triggered by waking up, we're on day three. You know, we didn't sleep for a while there. But, uh, yay. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm gonna need to get some water. Where can we... Uh, I think we had some down here, didn't we? Did we take all of our food? I don't think we did. I think there might be some still left here. Yeah, here we go. There's some clean water. That's all. We got some clean water. Go ahead, just have that broccoli. And then I'm going to put that on our right arm because it needs a little healing compared to other things. Um, we are still thirsty though, and we're probably very hungry and we're in need of food still. So I think that we need to address that. But. I also want to look back and kind of loot for batteries and stuff. Because I think that if we get a battery, we have the means of cooking. We just need to, like, you know, get the batteries for it, which I'm sh almost positive that I've, I've walked past and around multiple times. Like, in these rooms, you know? There's, like, going to be things that we can use. I can guarantee it. We just need to um, be a little bit smart. I mean, a glass jar is almost always good. Not if you're going to get killed by zombie scientists, though. Keep that. Then it's not good. But we have our handy-dandy flashlight, so we should be okay. Ooh, actually... Computer science, 301, orange soda. Go ahead, drink the orange soda. And we're gonna get that book, Are you kidding me? That's a really good book for us. Getting some better computer science. I think, I don't think that's such a good book for us. I'm not too attached to. Okay. It's, oh, hello, prisoner zombie. Excuse me, pardon me, I didn't see you there. Um, oh, there's some sunglasses right there, that's funny. <laughs> Can I just uh, kind of maneuver around a little bit? I go in here. What were these circuit boards and stuff? Okay. Uh, that thing is still kind of following me. I think we can lose it though. What's in here though? Um, there isn't a syringe in here. I keep on, yeah, I keep on looking for that thing. Heavy disposable battery. That is gonna be useful, just not for what we have right now. Any other batteries? No. Okay, that's actually our loot spot, right? Should remember that. A uh, medium disposable battery. I think that's what we need, actually. Right? That's the the cooking was the medium. So we can we can work with that. I'm 
very confident we can work with that. Any other items here? Yeah, I'm just curious because there might be other stuff. Oh, hello. Um, we're just gonna head on out of here. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> uh, there's a micro centrifuge. Yeah, I think that with that battery, we're good. That's a lot of slime blobs. Like a whole lot of them. It's like a strange amount of them to have there. Okay, excuse me guys, pardon me. Okay. Is the chemistry set here or do I have it on me? I don't think I have it on me. Chemistry set, yep, here we go. Chemistry set, and then reload. Nice, it's got tons of charge. We can we can work with that. Anything else? I think that I kind of want my um, workstation to be up at the top. It's a shame it's a disposable one because we can't recharge it. <laughs> um, so much stuff that we have here. Crafting-wise that we should bring with us. We gotta take up a number of things. Yeah. We'll do basically everything that I think will be useful we'll take up there because I think that we're gonna need to do like crafting projects up there in our little car for now we'll, we'll expand out we even got detergent and like yeah like these lenses we got tons of those for the future little projects tons of good stuff even the soldering iron, yeah. We'll make this work. Definitely make this work. Especially if we come back down here for more batteries and, and whatnot as, as they're needed. I'm liking the look of things. <laughs> In the auto dock, we do have there as well, which we have secured, which is amazing. We have... Um, This is like such an amazing location for us to have access to. It really is. Those zombie cops we could probably also kill and kind of farm for some pretty good stuff. I was thinking we might be able to get bearings from, I think it's the alternators, and then we could use that. We, we don't need um, to do like the pebbles. I think bearings are actually better. Oh, hello. Um, hold on. Pardon me. Just gonna step outside a little bit and run away. Can I drop that? And drop that. That. Oops. Ah, they grabbed me. Okay. Um, now we're bleeding. Do we have a pipe around here? No, we do not. Uh, we can get a, something out. What would be decent? There's, um, and this has got seven cuts or a stab. I think getting the wrench out is probably our best bet right now, just because it'd take a lot of moves to get other stuff. Can I hit him, please? I really don't like how much damage they're doing to me. There we go. Um, here we go. Uh, wait. Am I, like, disoriented or something? There's my stuff there. Or, okay, I guess I, I moved back. Okay. Uh, can I get one of my bandages out? I mean, it's kind of a waste, maybe, of one of our bandages. Um... I don't see any makeshift bandages though. Where oh where are you? Bandage. Not here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Okay, that's um get that back on. Bandage. Okay, cool. 
No, we can we can get. All right, we stopped that bleeding. <laughs> cool. And then he's actually got a Kevlar vest. Ooh, look at that. That's that's good. That is also my gun, which we can then equip. And we got a first aid book as well, which I really should just do so we can um, get the decent first aid kits ourselves. Ooh, stamina. Annoying. I mean, we're out here. There's no hostiles. It's pretty good. Pretty good start uh, for Bootsy, honestly. Very good. Very very good start for Bootsy. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll probably do a little bit of crafting and and whatnot next. All right, cool. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.